Welcome to Hometown Cooking with Mary Ann. I'm Mary Ann. I was in my, looking in my refrigerator. I know I, I knew that I had some old zucchini in there from my garden. What to do with it? So fresh. The outside peelings were a bit messy, but mm, I peeled it off. And I have all this. The, this is one big one. It was about that big. Medium one and a small one. Zucchini. And um, I took them, I peeled them because they weren't very appealing. So I peeled the outside, took anything that was like rough looking. And I tried to keep them flat. We are going to make zucchini parmesan today. My way. I know people have different ways of doing it. So um, the pieces that I cut off that won't fit into my casserole that I'm going to make, I am just chopping up. I have a food saver, and I don't know if you ever saw me, well I call it a zucchini pie, but it's more like uh, a zucchini quiche. I, I call it sometimes, um, I will put this in my food saver bag, and another time I will make my um, zucchini quiche or pie. Okay, and I'll leave the link of that on top. My little eye card. So this will be probably enough with the zucchini pie. You can do any any variety of things you want to put in there, tomatoes, zucchinis, whatever. Okay. Just rough chop. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to go into the freezer for a later date. I can also, if I want, I can throw this into, open it up, throw it into soup, stews. You don't want it too early in the stew. You, I would put this in maybe the last half hour or so because zucchini um, is very sensitive and it will disintegrate. Okay, let me go over to my food saver. It'll last for a very long time. I have some in my freezer now from last year. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to get a little noisy here. <laughs> I'm going to make the breadcrumbs for the Parmesan so that I can fry up the zucchini. Now here's what I do. I look around, see what I have, and I have some of these rolls that are getting a little stale. Hamburger rolls. I need a bread mixture. I'm not positive how much. A lot of times I'll end up with leftovers and that's it. He edits my show, so he may uh, turn on. No, there goes my hamburger rolls. And then this is potato bread. I'll throw some of that in there. Okay. There it is. Look for my, my dry bread crumbs. Italian bread crumbs are just uh, regular Italian bread crumbs. Progressive. Anyone you want. Put a few of them in. I say about a cup. It depends on how many zucchinis you have, really. Now I like to put some flax in there. It's not only nutritious for you, it gives it a certain toasty taste. Okay, that's about maybe a quarter cup. You wing it when you go. You're making this, but it's a Excellent recipe for leftover zucchini. That's going pretty bad and needs to get going. <laughs> I have my Himalayan salt. A uh, pinch, I'd say about ooh, a quarter to a half a teaspoon. You have to remember, the bread has salt in it. Then I have my Italian seasoning. Roughly 
a tablespoon. That's what that looks like. Because you have seasoning in the breadcrumb also. If you're using plain breadcrumbs, I would use two tablespoons. A little bit of parsley, maybe a tablespoon of parsley. Then I have the um, garlic powder, which I'm not going to open the way I'm supposed to. Let's see. It doesn't have a flip. Yes, it does. It has to be center. Oh well. Here we go. A tablespoon of garlic, maybe a two teaspoons to a tablespoon. Well, three teaspoons equals a tablespoon. So there you go. And some pepper. Dip in. That was about a teaspoon, a whole teaspoon of pepper. If you like onion, go ahead and put onion in there. Um, I shy away from onion because it bothers my daughter's stomach. Okay, and hold your ears. Okay. Now, Or you can always grind up an extra piece of bread or something and then throw your seasonings into it just a little bit, not too much. Okay, we're gonna put that aside. My hands are very clean, always, always, always. I'm in water constantly. it or anything. Let me bring some of my things here aside. I'm going to use my own spaghetti sauce. I need to put a little water in here. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of water in there. Let's get over here. Get my filtered water. I'm going to put about, mm, not even, probably a teaspoon just so it mixes it up well. To beat up the eggs. You can do this with eggplant also. And what I do is instead of cutting it the brown across, I cut it down like the um, zucchini, my eggplant, when I do use it. Uh, same thin method, same everything. Um, I like it that way better. You can almost make it like a casserole. Oh, you know what? Go with the bigger dish. It up real well, yeah. Okay. Live and learn. Here comes the noise factor. Hey, this is on a just on a whim here. <laughs> I get my little cookie times when I'm sitting there watching playing my game and I'm like, oh I wonder what I have in the refrigerator. It is getting close to supper, but I have um this will probably sit in the refrigerator for a day. You can leave it in the refrigerator for at least a day or so, and it will marinate together, the sauce and everything. Ah, then you, ah, so good. <laughs> Very tasty. Okay, now, let me see what kind of cheese we have in here. Okay. Uh, very little. Whole milk, mozzarella, and I have a little bit of four cheese Mexican. That'll do. Just a sprinkle between into your eggs. And my hands are very clean. Let it drip. Into the breadcrumbs. Pat them. So I have it in the breadcrumbs. Give it a little tap. Be gentle. 
only because you're going to wind up taking the breadcrumbs off. Because it's a zucchini because it's on there lightly. Pat. Your plate. Now we're going to do this. Pan and it's a heavy skillet. Uh, find that if the heavier it is, the better. Let this oil heat up really well. I'm just using uh, pure vegetable oil. And I think I'm putting in, wow, it's not even an inch of oil. Um, maybe an eighth of an inch of oil. Now I'm turning it down to medium. This is going to heat up really quickly. When you are frying, you want to keep your lid close by in case it flames up, and that is from experience. And I have a cookie tray with paper towels, about four thick, that's to absorb the oil. Two forks to flip them. Now, the way you find out if it's ready, you take a little breadcrumbs, and if they start sizzling, they're ready. Carefully. Knock off any crumbs. Hear that? That's what you want. Put them in. There you go. Don't overcrowd it. I find they have a better chance of flipping it with two forks. doesn't take way too long for it, but I'll show you the first pan. Don't force it. Let it brown. Keep it down. I have medium to five. As long as you have the sizzle, you have it cooking, and the oil is hot enough. Okay, so we have all the zucchini, and this is where, when you can, your own sauce, where it comes in handy. My own sauce, I'm open that up. Get a grip on it. Oh. There we go. All right, now, um, you know, just because maybe you're single, You don't have to make a big batch like this. Take a little loaf pan and make a one nice size zucchini. A, a good medium sized zucchini will fill this. So, okay, let's pour that in. Now my zucchini is pretty well cooled down. Don't panic if the if the um, breading comes off. That's fine. You're not even going to see it. It's just for flavor and texture. Layer in the bottom. And let's we'll see what we have here. I'm going to use up my cheese in between. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. This was in my refrigerator. Somebody could have a mouthful. <laughs> it's called cleaning out your refrigerator. <laughs> okay. Put it gracious enough cheese in the middle, maybe about a quarter cup of cheese. 
then you might want to layer across this way, press down a little bit. That's where you get rid of your big one, big zucchinis. Press down. Oh, I'm put it this way. There we go. And then that way, like a like a uh, a um, lasagna. As the cook's treat. Now this is four cheese from Mexican. It doesn't in my eyes, whatever you have, sprinkle on. And then you go across this way. See how tender that is? It's all gonna bake together. It's amazing. It's like zucchini noodles. like my own stuff, I wouldn't be showing you. And then down like this. Add some more cheese. Now, okay, we're out of that one. Now we're going to go on to mozzarella. If you do not want to fry your zucchini, I have seen um, cooks Softening their zucchini in spaghetti sauce. Um, I've never tried it. It runs a little bit low, so we're going to spread this out. That. It'll be all good when we get to it. Here you go. <laughs> Couldn't do that again, could I? <laughs> What's going to happen is it's all going to cook together. And um, let me get some of that off my hands. Okay. It'll cook all together. Give it a little nudge. It's almost like a zucchini lasagna. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, put the sauce on top. And this is why I say nobody's gonna see any mistakes. on the top until the last half hour. So, I'm going to set it at 400. And I'm going to put, I do have a lid for this, but I want a piece of parchment paper. Top. And then I'm going to put the lid on. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, or you can put foil on if you don't have it. Just going to pop it into my oven and let it cook for 45 minutes until it's bubbling. And then we will bring it out and we'll go to the next step. Okay, well, we're waiting for the, um, what I call the zucchini lasagna <laughs> to get finished. Dessert. I found two small apples. I um, peeled them, core them. I'm going to slice them up. Fairly thin, not too thick. They're very, very tasty. They're not too tart and not too sweet. You need to at least taste one to see what you're working with.
Just slice them up. sugar in it. butter. I'm only going to put half of it and it's like two tablespoons of butter. far up because we're going to put a crumb topping on. Now, here I have oatmeal. Cup. Too much. I would say about a cup of oatmeal. Let me see. I'm going to measure so I can be precise. Yeah. Got about a cup of oatmeal. Give or take some on my board. All right. Now, I'm going in for the brown sugar. Two tablespoons, it's like a heaping tablespoon. Now, only because I keep them in the freezer, I have um, pecans. I have about quarter cup of ground pecans, pecans, depending on where you come from. I always keep my um, walnuts, pecans in my freezer so that I have them handy when I need them and they stay fresh. Now the rest of the butter, I'll have to take a guess on if it's enough. You don't want it all dry. You might need more butter. around. Yeah, it's not too dry. It's enough brown sugar. And we need some cinnamon. Good half to a teaspoon of cinnamon for this. Now a little bit more butter. Okay, little hint, when you are melting butter, make sure you put a lid on top. There's a little saucer on top of the bowl. Okay, I'm gonna put the crumbs on top. You can do anything you want with this. You can put chocolate chips in here. Freezes, put it away, it'll be just as good. Sprinkle some butter on top. Okay, there you go. Now 
we're going to put these in the oven on the bottom it's up about six inches from the bottom we're going to let these cook with our zucchini we're going to bring it down to 390 and we're going to let it go i'm going to clean up and then we'll wait for everything to get done okay as you can see it's steaming and bubbling away now we're going to load on the cheese okay my little i know you've seen this in the background a lot my little mitt getting off the oven now what i'm going to do is put the lid on back in okay there you have it nice comforting supper quick economical and what I had in my uh, in my refrigerator the only thing I had to go get extra was more cheese and for dessert I had the ramekins with the apples let's take a peek at that everybody should be coming home from work soon Very good. That's going to be mine. <laughs> and then we have the zucchini casserole. I'd rather give it time to sit. For the sake of time. The zucchini's tender. Oh, I don't want to wreck it. Let's get a knife. I know this is all vegetable, but you can add more vegetable to it. Nice salad. Ooey gooey. Ooey gooey. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. There you have it. Beautiful. Piping hot. I will give it a shot. cheese mm. so good mm. <laughs> that is so good okay I hope you try these recipes something you can think about when you don't know what to make and the zucchini season my zucchinis, I breaded them, fried them, assembled them into a casserole, and there you have a zucchini casserole. And then we only had two little apples left over. I made little apple crisps. How easy can that be and how economical can that be? I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helped you a little bit to um, put some ideas into your, into your busy head. And um, please come back again. I really appreciate the company while I'm cooking. You have an awesome, awesome week. And I will see you next time in my kitchen. Love you. Bye-bye.